Alrighty, time for a Beyblade Showcase. First off, it's first evolution was very Lucifer. Then we got Lucifer, the end. And now, here we have Void Lucifer. Void Lucifer is an, a custom defense type for Dynamite Battle. The combo is also interesting in the fact that it has multiple gimmicks. So, the core, Lucifer. It is a right spin core with a rubber burst stopper in the center. Void, an armor and blade fusion. That is LR. And it has a gimmick. Low mode, it's more of a it's more used to smash opponents downward. High mode, it's a different story. It's more of a guarded mode to try and deflect attacks. Then we have Nexus, which is pretty standard disc for DB. Then Drift Metal Dash. With all these parts, it becomes an extremely aggressive defense type. Just like Lucifer is normally. Perfect against opposite spin opponents. Not too great against the same spin opponents. Let's do it up against Vanish Fafnir. <laughs> Massive impact. Those were some serious impacts. Ooh. Um, I would have to say Void Lucifer barely wins that. Oh, boy. Oh, really good hits. Void Lucifer making itself pick up some speed. Spin stealing off of Vanish Fafnir thanks to the rubber claws on it. Void Lucifer does take aspects from both Variant and Void and off of the end. Allowing for it to, well, be the ultimate Lucifer. Just like how Inferno Hyperion or Firestorm Helios both had the same kind of concepts from the two previous evolutions. Whoa! Okay, we've got pretty good hits in. Alright, could Void Lucifer win this? Ooh, I'm gonna call that a tie. Void Lucifer is really good at equalizing spin, but it can also spin steal pretty well. Some decent hits. Surprisingly, Void Lucifer is going on the defensive this time around. Ooh. This is just a stamina battle. Ooh, Void Lucifer takes it. Up next, I'm gonna put it up against Variant and Lucifer to the end. So, Variant Lucifer is a little bit tricky to control sometimes, especially with Mobius Driver. Okay, boy just killed Variant Stamina. Up next is Lucifer the end. Why doesn't it want to work on the launcher? I have no clue. Okay, let's try that one more time. But you can definitely tell that Void Lucifer is mainly based off of the end. All right, I'm going to put it up against some other customs. So the first custom it is going to be going up against is Rebirth Diabolos in left spin mode. With a slightly improved combo, 
having Nexus plus a little upgrade I made, which is the rubber bound upgrade. And then the warped driver, not warp, warped, because warp ended up breaking. All right, left spin mode for Roberto Diabola. Whoa, okay, well that's some speed right there. burst finish on Roberto Diabolos right off the bat. Alright, up next, let's change it up. Let's put it up against Warrior Achilles. In goes Warrior. In goes <laughs> Shooting itself out of the arena. It has way too much speed and way too much power. Yeah, it's losing stamina badly. Oh! That was a good hit. All right, last but certainly not least, let's put it up against Astral Spryven. It's student versus the master. Void Lisa are trying to pick up speed and knock Spryzen out of the speed cradle, but it just doesn't work. Ooh. Void Lucifer loses. It has good life after death, though. <laughs> Bit too good life after death. <laughs> Stamina again. Last battle. Ooh, Void Whisper once again going a little too ballistic. Alright, guess one more battle. Try one last time. Lucifer has always been a hard control bag. No matter what, if it was variant or the end, it was already always a hard bay to control. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this custom Beyblade evolution. I'll see you guys next time.